renewal of the Canada Science and Technology Museum is an opportunity. It's an opportunity to address gaps as an institution. The museum itself, the collection, its research, its exhibition interpretation officers focus on science and technology so much that sometimes we forget the underlying people stories to it. That, you know, women in science, for example, or indigenous innovations over the course of the last thousand, multiple thousands of years. It's an opportunity with this renewal to maybe right some wrongs in how we collect. Maybe we should stop collecting stewardess uniforms and start looking at collecting some women pilot uniforms instead. Maybe we just need to change our mindset around presenting the story of indigenous innovations across this country. So with the result of the closure of the Science and Tech Museum in late 2014, early 2015, we needed to use this relaunch as an opportunity to present a new vision, a new lens into the diversity of Canada. Science and technology that we have celebrated as an institution has often been focused on white male dominated environments. And that's because usually science historically, at least in the Western world, has come from that particular lens. But by changing our lens, uh, we're able to present a complete story when we reopen. And that's extremely important to me personally. It's extremely important to Canadians. And so we're going to use this opportunity, and hopefully you'll agree when you see the product on the floor, that we've been a much more inclusive lens to this museum than we ever had in the past. And we will use it as a springboard to do even more in changing how we collect and changing how we do research and changing how we engage with Indigenous communities on gender issues and on, and, and on making sure that this institution reflects the values of Canadians and of Canada of today.